All right, we're live. Oh, we got a viewer. What's going on, everybody? Welcome, Crazy for KBs. I'm Tim. Uh, welcome to Thursday Night Live Stream. Um, I said last week I'm going to try to start doing these fairly often. Definitely not every week. I'd like to at least do every other week, but I do have back to back weeks here. Um, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're working on anything, or just hanging out, using me to fall asleep. hanging out waiting for some people to pop in don't expect a big crowd but we did have uh past couple live streams we pretty much had consistently eight to ten at any given time so we'll wait for a few people to pop pop in before we get rolling go ahead and leave a comment no nope. okay Hello. People are busy right now, I guess. Weird. Leave a comment, say hello. I'm just hanging out. We're gonna be working on the Phoenix tonight. It's not a not a mystery. Um, nothing super crazy, but hey, I know that guy. What's up, Jake? Got a got a few upgrades for the Phoenix. We're gonna be doing mostly just wanted to do a live stream, hang out, kind of kill two birds with one stone engage with y'all while also giving this thing a little bit of love it could use it it's probably got the most uh it's it's beat up pretty good hopefully you guys can see that nothing too crazy haven't broken anything on it yet um but it's it's got a lot of scratches it's got quite a few miles on it even um Probably one of the few trucks I have I would measure in miles versus packs or runtime or whatever. But I'll go ahead and talk about what I'm gonna do. It's like I said, it's nothing nothing super sexy or cool, but I had a few things already and I was making an order for Vanquish. For my class one, I had to get some links. So, let's go ahead and get all this out of here. So, first of all, while I was ordering links, I went ahead and ordered a couple extra links for this to do an ex to extend the front. I was just looking at it, and I'm not sure. Um, I might have. I might not have added the length I wanted to add. His name is Bear. <laughs> he gave me the side eye back there. This is usually the time of night we play fetch or um, wrestle or do whatever, uh, tug of war. He's not very good at fetch. He likes to go retrieve and then run away with the toy and then cries until you chase him. But he's a good dog. He's very chill. French Bulldogs are, um, they have their health problems. They're not cheap. But if you're looking for like a low maintenance, low energy, like friend, I can't recommend them enough. But anyways, as I was saying, um, 
I think I might have had a brain fart and not added the right, um, or added the length. I think I ordered the same exact length that's already on here in titanium. So we'll check that out. I'll, I'll take a look at it, but we do have some things we're definitely going to do. I have a lightweight motor plate. So this one's not much heavier than the plastic. I kind of want to quote unquote bomb proof this thing. It's been really, really reliable. No transmission issues, nothing like that. But um, I'd like to, you know, take the durability up a notch so I can beat on it even more and just not even have to worry about it. Uh, I got the aluminum standoffs for the transmission. Those are pretty, pretty reasonable. I got this motor plate in the Trucks of Fortune. So I already had that. Um, I already had these front machine gears and the rest of the machine gears. So that was easy. And then I just got the bearing plates as well. While we're in there, last time me and Jake were out, I had my Phoenix out and I wasn't super thrilled with the low speed resolution. It's not bad, but I'm gonna put an 11 tooth pinion on there as well. Um, we might even break into Castle Link and do some programming on it, but Australian Shepherds Yeah, yeah, um, all right, Curtis, yeah, thanks for popping in, though, appreciate it, enjoy dinner, um, yeah, RW Pelham says, he's got an Australian Shepherd, my parents, um, unfortunately just had to put theirs down, um, she was an awesome dog, but yeah, high energy, um, it, I feel like you don't live somewhere they can just kind of run and just expend that energy, um, you got to kind of train them pretty well, but they just got a mini Australian Shepherd, which I guess you could say what you want about getting mini breeds, breeding, uh, dogs just for the purpose of making them smaller, but I haven't met the dog yet. I will on Thanksgiving. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, he's cool. We have another one too. Um, she's a loner. She's way less clingy, um, especially at night. She's clingy in the morning. He's a loner in the morning, but it works out. So yeah, I got a allegedly a, an upper front upper link. This is the same size that I used them for a spot on my I think my front upper on my class one that you guys may have seen in my video. It came out this week, and I got lowers, but they don't look like I wanted to do six millimeter longer on the lowers. And I think I wanted three or four millimeters on the upper. They definitely don't look like they're that much longer. They might be two millimeters longer, but I'm not sure. I used Vanquish's um, kind of measuring tool, went eye to eye, subtracted 15 mil and ordered, but I'm thinking it might not be, might not be a perfect science or I messed something up, whatever. Yeah, that's what we got. Um, I don't think there's anything else, but I did blow this thing off with an air hose. We'll switch over to... Oh, not that. Good thing I wasn't looking at anything inappropriate. But I got a shirt too. Vanquish needs to make some better shirts. I'm a fanboy. I think everybody knows that. Um, I like their stuff, but the shirt's nice. It's just, it's the same shirt they've had on there since... I started buying their stuff and want to support them, want to rep them, but, um, so let's see. I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to clip these zip ties to get this stuff out of the way. I use wire loom on this truck. I don't really do that anymore. It doesn't really bother me to have the color of servo wire, especially the, this has Protec servos in it. So they're black. Any the wires on them are black, but Mm. I forgot um, when you have all the uh, the servos and stuff in here. This is a little bit more of a project than um, <laughs> I remembered it was going to be. That's all right, though. Okay, so I think... 
Yeah. I've left the driver over here. Nothing too crazy tonight. Um, <laughs> last week I built my, well, started building my Pro. I built the axles and then trying to read chat and, you know, somewhat hold a conversation. I screwed up the transmission. That's fine. I got it built now. Transmission feels good. Um, went ahead, filled the shocks, did uh, 35 up front, 45 in the rear, which... If y'all haven't seen Axial's interview with Wyatt Mellon, the guy who designed the SCX-10 Pro, um, they did an interview just recently. He won the WRCCA uh, performance scale class at the like a world championship, technically, I guess. It's kind of weird to call it that, I guess. But I'm sure there are people from across the pond. So, But either way, I mean... The guy can drive, he knows that truck, and that was his uh, that was his suggestion on on shock weight. When you're kind of going minimalistic, um, you're not fully decked out scale points. I think his truck, he said his truck's like six and a half pounds, or five and a half pounds, or five and a quarter. Pretty light. That's about what I think mine's going to be at, so. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna just take these screws off that go to the overdrive and the dig. I've I've got this thing kind of I guess fully kitted out. Um, I don't know if I need to take that battery tray out. I might. Anybody else working on anything? I think tomorrow night, I think me and Jake's RC, I think we're gonna go just run some gates just for fun on Saturday, as long as the weather holds. But I kind of take the same trucks all the time. I'm definitely gonna take my Jekyll and Hyde, my new class two. I've got it, it's it's performing a lot better. I, me and him went out the first time I drove it and it was really top heavy. Um, but I've got it, it's much better now. It's still a totally different experience than, um, you know, some other, some other trucks, but it is what it is. My noise cancellation is not working on NVIDIA broadcast, so y'all have to listen to RC Garage Guy. I, oh, here we go. You think it's worth trying different? Yeah, for sure it's definitely worth trying. I don't know what you have in yours. Um, we'll start with, yeah, RW Pelham. Different shock oil in the front and the rear on the Phoenix. Um, <laughs> looking at mine, I'm pretty sure my front shocks are empty, but judging by all the dirt that's stuck to them, these SAD shocks, I actually really like the way they look. They perform pretty well. They leak really bad. They're not as bad as the old, the, like the shocks that came on the pro and the ultra, but they are not they're not good. It kind of seemed like I jinxed it. I talked about how they didn't leak and they were really great. And then all of a sudden I feel like all mine started leaking at once. So it is what it is. We're just going to take all this out. Oh. And then RC Garage Guy said, uh, Anybody snap a, or sorry, grab a brass 800 LP. I have not. 
And I tell you, the only reason I haven't is because I don't have, so I'm not even gonna unplug this. I'm just gonna set it down here for now. Hopefully we can make do without needing to take everything off the truck. But I don't have a servo on axle besides for my, my new C3, the Chopra and my Capra. I think that's it. I guess my orange two buggies running Capra axles, so it's that one as well. But honestly, for as many trucks I have, I only have three. They're servo on axle. Um, I definitely do not see a benefit unless you're running servo on axle. Um, that's my opinion. Everyone's entitled to one. I mean, everyone, you know what they say about opinions, but um, yeah, that's that's where I stand on it, I guess. I don't really see um, I don't really see the need for it. Let's see here. You know what? Here, we're gonna unplug this. Channel four is what the uh, which one's this? That's our dig. You guys remember that for me. If I burn up a servo, I'll be grumpy, but I'm not gonna blame y'all. That'd be my fault. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if you guys watched, watched Vanquish's live streams. They do on Tuesdays, but they are about to drop F10 portal servo on axle mounts, aluminum. Uh, Jim said he's got them done, like the machining, uh, I guess the programs for the machines and everything's already done. Um, so, it'll be, uh, that might be something that I may turn last year's class two, the blue and orange truck. Um, I may convert that into a servo and axle because that's kind of going to be like my cheater rig. Um, once I can hopefully start going to our local cash comp local in the Atlanta area, um, very minimal rules, but I'm pretty sure you can have, uh, I'm pretty sure you can have servo on axle. Jake may be more familiar if he's still in here. Um, if they're allowing that, but if they do, yeah, I mean, brass 800 LP servo on axle. It's gonna get beat up though. Like it ain't gonna be gold like forever, but they're sharp though. RW Pelham, let's go to servo. I will tell you, I love reefs. Um, I've had good luck with reefs. I've also had really good luck with Protec. Um, this truck has a. 370 TBL, which was kind of their crawler flagship servo for a long time. Um, now they have the 1K TBL, which is a thousand ounce inches on 8.4. And I've ran that on like copperheads and stuff, which don't have, honestly don't have the strongest Yeah, don't necessarily have the strongest BECs compared to a Mamba X or something, and not a problem. Let's see, you gonna come out of there? My drive shaft's still attached. I know that, but that's fine. All right, just all these wires in the way. Okay. Yeah, we had a 15 on here. I might actually not drop all the way to an 11. That's a really big change. I like the wheel speed. This is a trail rig. Um, maybe we'll split the difference and go to a 13. That seems, that seems pretty reasonable, I think. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, I'll finish my, my thought on servos, I guess. Got distracted. So um, for the longest time, I was reefs. I have a few raw 500s. I've got a few triple sevens. I don't have a triple eight, I don't believe. Um, I've got a triple five. Um, I think that's probably it for the different versions of the reefs I have. I also have a couple of, I got a 370 TBL, 170 TBL, two of their 1K TBLs. My Pro and my Ultra both have the 1K TBL. Um, I've got a couple shift servos, and those are really good. Shifts are real popular. You'll see them a lot at competitions. Really like the NSD RCs lately. I think what you get, bang for the buck, um, their RS500B, I think it's like a $65 direct power, and it's it's over 500 ounce inches. Um, super hard to beat. You get the speed and the power of direct power. Um, you don't have to worry about browning out, anything like that. Um, and let's see, what else? Uh, I got an MKS servo. That's really the only servo that I could say, like, I've had bad experiences with besides RTRs. Um, it's fine. It's strong. It's really, really noisy and kind of chattery. Um, I really like Eco Power. If you're building like a trail rig and you're not looking to like jam it between rocks or anything, 400 ounce inches, plug and play, 60 bucks, rebuildable. Um, I've had really good luck with them. They're pretty fast. They're not crazy fast. Uh, but yeah, the NSDRCs, I think $125 gets you, I think it's the same for their, um, the 700 LP, which is what RW Pelham is talking about. My, uh, the blue one, um, a thousand or 1100 ounce inches for 125 bucks. They also have, uh, the RS 800, which is. I think maybe has a little bit more power. Maybe it's more speed. Um, I think it's the same power, but a little more speed. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I've really liked NSDRC lately quite a bit. Um, shifts as well. I'm kind of going away from the plug and play, doing a lot more direct power, um, less afraid. And also I'm using ESCs that don't have BECs or um, they're really, really like weak basically just to power the radio. Kind of beat that dead horse though. Um, I would say NSDRC right now if I was had to pick. Oh, Three Brothers as well. Yeah, the Three Brothers, the G13 Pro, awesome. Technically 5S capable. Basically, they I think they just say that, so you don't have to worry. You can run on 4S, plenty strong, absolute beast. And um, yeah, I've got one in my like tug of war truck. It's got a lot of weight on it. Still stupid amounts of power. Yeah, I'm with Adam Wilby. I'm, ten, I'm kind of tending toward direct power servos. Um, a lot of the trucks I've been selling lately, I've been putting older plug and play servos on them. They're just, they're just not as powerful. It's pretty much nature of the beast. Jake says, our crawl master shootout does not say anything about servo position. Cool. Yeah, so um, I guess, I mean, I could do my SCX-10 Pro, and that would, I wouldn't have to buy anything for that, but kind of want to try that servo on axle for an F-10T. I do like the idea of having, if I'm going to run servo on axle, running it on a portal, um, just get it up a little bit off the rocks. Preference. Power, I have never tried Power Hobby. Um, I've ran Amazon the 20 kg, 25s, 35, they're fine. They're not very fast. Um, they're pretty, pretty noisy, but there's a lot of good servos out there. It's a lot of people say, I've never done any research or fact checking, but a lot of people say they are, a lot of them were built in the same factory or whatever. All right, servos. Servos are, I mean, servos are a big deal though. Like it is, it truly is probably the the easiest way. Servos, tires, and foams. You know, if you want to spend, yeah, 
You know, I guess tires and foams can get kind of expensive, but you want to spend 150 bucks, go with like a budget servo and good tires and some 3D printed foams or dual stage foams. Outrunner preference. <laughs> I don't have a ton of experience with outrunners. I only have um, kind of just dove into that with this these new comp builds that I'm doing. So my Jekyll and Hyde, the Krupp Carbon Works, has got a black jacket, which is a censored outrunner. Kind of cool. Um, so that basically you almost have to run that on a Mamba Micro X2. You could run it on another censored castle, but why you run an outrunner if you're going to run a big big uh, ESC? And then I have a Holmes Hobby uh, revolver, the 14 pole full size revolver, 2200. That's in my C3, and it's I've powered it up, um, and I've ran it with a Crawlmaster Mini V2, really quiet, tons of power. I just haven't actually like driven it, driven it. It's just been driven on the bench here on the floor in here. That thing's almost done. It's just the last few things, and here I am working on this. I'm gonna look for pinion real quick. All right, I found a 12. There's a 13 in there, but it's, it's not in the best shape. So this is what we're gonna go with. Yeah, motor, electronics, man, you could talk. I, and I love that stuff. I'm not like annoyed by any means. I. Love talking about stuff, and that's one reason I've I've tried so many different servos, and I've kind of felt, I guess, kind of obligated to when I started the channel, like try some different things out. I can't run the same stuff all the time, you know. That way, when you all ask questions, I can speak to it a little bit. Twelve tooth. I did that. Matter of time before I lose all these wrenches. But yeah, I'm uh I feel like just like everybody else and even, you know, way bigger channels, CCXRC and um I feel like Pretty much everyone at some point has talked about like the ebb and flow of you know your I guess commitment to the hobby. Um, there was a lull. I mean, you, if you guys watch my channel and actually watch my videos, you probably noticed there was a while where I wasn't posting much. I was busy. It wasn't just by choice. Um, But um, I, I was also a little burned out, kind of ran out of good ideas and <laughs> um, my ideas still, I don't, I don't know that they're really all that great, but I think as long as the energy comes through, you know, that I'm excited about it, you know, it feels less like I'm leaving a job to come to a different job. Um, I actually got notified by YouTube that I could do like the first step of monetization where I could do like super chats and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm just not ready for that yet. Um, to me, that comes with a, some level of obligation. 
and um, I I want to continue to just have fun, like get videos out when I have the time, when I have the energy, etc. So um, you know what? We're actually gonna take we're gonna take the motor out of here. So I, I got to do all these transmission upgrades. So doing those around the motor not going to be very pleasant. So I did get that pinion put on there though. I'm curious to see if that's too small. I really do think 13 is kind of the sweet spot, but I'm slide that out of the way. You guys can, I'm not really trying to demo any of this. I just figured you might want to see what I'm working on at least. You guys can make fun of me when I screw something up. Um, yeah. RC Garage guy says Vision Metal Wheels. I've seen them. I um, don't have any experience with them. I've never touched them. So I can't can't really comment or if you got experience with them feel free to share because um, they do look good they really do I don't even know what the price is I'm sure they're not cheap you know good things are not cheap cheap things are not good usually cheap things can be fine they can get you by but there's a difference between that and um, you know being adequate all right and of course I cranked the slipper clutch down let's see crawler addict says we love anyone that's committed to the hobby do it for the love not for the money yeah for sure um this is, I don't, there's very few people, I think, that, you know, this is, uh, it's gotten to the point where they're making, like, real money off of it. Um, so, I'm not too worried about any of that. Oh, there's the other French Bulldog. She's here. Oh, being needy, as usual. What you want? Why don't you lay on the futon with your brother? No. <laughs> These dogs. They run this house. My wife is working, so they're mad at me for not sitting on the couch playing a tent. Nope, oh, there she goes. She listens pretty good though. She she can take a hint. See if I can remember how to put all this together. I put a lot of phoenixes together, but we'll see if I remember how to reassemble them. So I think we're just gonna I'm just gonna work my way down. I'm gonna start with the motor plate first. Should be the easiest thing to do. Um, but yeah, and again, unless you're Kevin Talbot or I don't even know if RC Spark still makes videos. Um, those guys definitely like pay their bills on RC, like, um, at least RC Sparks definitely did at one point. Uh, like I said, I don't know if he still does or not, but, um, let's use power tools, make this go quicker. All right, Tom. Turned hobbies into jobs before they're neither now. Yep, burnout's real. So that is for sure. Uh, of course. He's... I actually thought about deleting this um, the shroud here. It's just extra weight. It's not really doesn't do anything, but I'm gonna leave it, but I do have to, I gotta unbolt it here to get the motor plate off. 
I actually don't know if the metal one has a spot for these, so we'll find out. This was kind of a last minute. Last night I was like grabbing all the all the parts I had sitting around for this and kind of decided just to just go for it. RC Garage guy says he dropped a set of two twos. Hmm, does he still have them? I am in need of a set of two twos. I almost got a set of the Vanquish Pink two twos, but alas, okay, that's fine. Um, I actually really like my. I got a um, super shafty on my wheels on my. Chopra, my class three, and I haven't ran them, but I like them. They're nice. Price isn't too terrible on them either, and they're really narrow. But then he makes them in three different widths, or they make them in three different widths. So, okay, there we go. Motor plate is off. Probably a really logical way to do all this, but I didn't, didn't think about it too much. You guys don't have a set of. <laughs> oh, I got this turned up really, really high. Normally, I wouldn't do that. If you guys don't have a set of. Uh like dental picks or some sort of pick set, highly recommend them. Come in handy. I've gotten bearings out of them with you know, just use them to pull C clips off, all sorts of things. They those are that's a Harbor Freight set. They've paid for themselves because they were like two dollars. So alright. So we're not gonna need those. These are these old course really stuck <laughs> weird yep they're just stuck in there okay what else we got yeah that's why that's what I was talking about RC garage guy my super shafty tutus So I have on my Chopra. I got some I have Hyrax LPs on there, but you guys didn't know I'm a pretty big deal. I'm a West Desert Wheeler team driver. So he's actually gonna make me a custom set of cut and shuts. Not gonna, not gonna say what, just so no one bugs him. He does not make cut and shots of every kind. It's not a, he doesn't take orders or anything like that. He has what he has on his website, but or I don't know, maybe he would, but I don't, I don't think he does. So. Oh, let's see, we got five. A lot of people in here, nothing crazy. I know it's this is not the most exciting thing in the world. I said, this is something I was gonna do anyway, so I was like, well, we'll chat. We'll chat along the way. My dog is, uh, oh, there she is. She's, they're down for the count. I used to have a TV in here, so I'd turn the TV on for them. But I wouldn't do that on a live stream, but yeah. Okay. All right. We will need some. 
need some thread lock. Let's make sure that this these aluminum standoffs are threaded deep enough. Yeah. Okay. Cool. But yeah, I like the I like the idea of having these as aluminum. Um, just kind of make everything a little more rigid. But I do need to put some Loctite on them. That RC Garage guy, that may or may not be what I'm having him make me. Tusks. Because if you didn't notice, my C2's got tusks, my C1's got tusks. He asked me to be a team driver, asked me what tires I want to run on my C3, and I said, I'd like to run tusks, so I'm running the same tire. Um, he was like, all right. But he is having a hard time finding a set. Have I seen, oh yeah, I've seen those lightweight gears. I thought about getting them for this, but I already had these. And the goal with this was not lightweight. This truck is not light. It's, I don't know, maybe eight and a half pounds of the battery in it. It's got a full size 540 Polar Pro, a Copperhead ESC, a full size ser steering servo, and then. Um, got two low profile Protec metal aluminum case servos so but yeah those look those lightweight gears look sweet they and I'm sure they're plenty strong I just I was like well the goal is for this is kind of absolute strength so my thoughts were let's Let's make it as strong as possible. So, does it make sense to put this on here now? Or should I? Yeah, maybe I should leave that off for now. Take the, take the transmission apart, which I'm not really looking forward to. I may have to bust out the manual for the transmission. Tower had some. Okay, I'll look after the stream. He was he was having a hard time finding them. So, um, but I mean, I would run. The crawlers that he did are really nice. I would run, run those or run uh, what's the pro line tire trenchers. He does trenchers. He does crawlers, and he just uh, he's gonna be doing the uh, Maxis trepidors. The trepidors are a little tall. They would look sweet though on a class three, I think. But they are, they are a hair on the tall side, I will say. 5.4. There's guys who run 4.75, at least at ECC. Um, just prefer not to have the center of gravity be up and run smaller tires. You run four-wheel steer, you can navigate through a lot more even with, um, and the body, less body restrictions. You know, better approach angles, but I'll be honest. A lot of the things I'm running are stuff that I paid attention. You know, I looked at what guys were doing in class three and kind of paid attention to class one. I was a little nervous when I was watching class one because that was the first day I'd ever competed. So uh, that was my class two. I ran two courses the day they were finishing class one. So I didn't pay super close attention. But 
I know the 393 Tusks were definitely the most popular tire, so that's what I went with. Doesn't necessarily mean they're the best, but. All right. Yeah, this transmission is. I've never had it. I've never taken one apart. I've never broken a gear. I've uh, I got quite a few VFD twins, but is there anything, any new vehicles, y'all, or have your have your eye on? I talked a little bit about this last week. I'm not gonna repeat. We do have some people in here that I don't think were in here last week. They weren't in the chat, at least. What do y'all think of the Red Cat? I, I asked about it last week, but I know there's some new people. The, the not the the hauler's cool, but I got a freaking Cross RC hauler that's been in the same state for about four months, so I definitely don't need another hauler, two wheel drive hauler. But the the Red Cat Ascent, their LCG. I think. RW, was that was that you that said you just didn't understand why they put a steel chassis on it? And I can't say I disagree. Seems silly, but it's cheap, I guess. Just stamp it, basically. I was like, oh, I really hope this doesn't... If this had machine gears in it, I guess it'd be better to find out right now than later but I'm pretty sure my my comp truck has machine gears in it but Let's see what else came out I don't know much else I saw XOKH did his, his running footage of the the Ascent today. It looks okay. Um, I think it looks like the most capable and best Red Cat, but I've never driven one, so. But for the price, it's tempting. I think if someone made a carbon fiber or even aluminum chassis for it, throw some brass up front, better electronics, you could probably have a really, really nice crawler, like fairly competitive and the body's like the body's ready to go wheels tires it sounds like a lot but you're not doing a full chassis swap you're not the shocks look a lot like the scx 10 pro shocks they're probably not quite as nice that's me being judgmental but um all right Uh, RW Pelham, great deal for the money. Yeah, that's that's the best you can thing you can say about it. I think I'm gonna pre-order one. It's hard to pass up. I have a couple trucks for sale right now, and I'd really like to sell them. Mostly to make the room. Obviously, the money would be sick too, but. Um, yeah, it's mostly to make the room for them. I hung some more shelves this last weekend. I'll get you guys an update on my room here soon. I have a lot of trucks very close. My my Jekyll and Hyde's pretty good to go. My C3 is so close. So I'm kind of kind of like to get those done before I edit a, a room organization video, but People seem to be fairly receptive to it. I was doing it anyway, so I was like, I'm just gonna film it. It was one of those things that pretty organic. Didn't take much extra work. Okay. That is a long screw. I guess it's gotta go through all those pieces. There's a fair chance I won't remember where these go, but I got can care hardware. I got the user manuals. We'll figure it out. 750. Let's see if I can get all these 
core upgrades on. We'll check out the links too. I think I'll I think I'll have time. I should. Grab a paper towel. Yeah, I couldn't remember if this had the plastic bearing plates in it or not. It does not. It does. So, this was a good um, <laughs> I just couldn't remember, but I knew I had trucks that didn't have these, so I didn't feel too bad buying them, but they're kind of pricey for what these are. There's not much to them, but it is what it is. RW Palm. Let's see. Am I running the? Yeah, I'm running Dig and Overdrive, and I actually use I use both of them when I am bouncing it off of stuff. Um, I love this thing. It's I like my Pro, but um, this thing is. Uh, it's just more capable because of the body. So, close out of this. But yeah, Pro is really cool. Love the aluminum machined axles. Um, it basically comes kind of how I'm building this. Aluminum standoffs, metal motor plate, things like that. Machine gears. That's kind of my thought, is so I'm kind of building this into a pro. That was, that's the idea. All right, so. We'll kind of, we'll kind of inspect things as we're going through this too. Just, if I notice bearings or something being screwed up, I'll, stop what I'm doing and there's a shim there this goes on the back of that that's one thing I'll say be careful if you bought an RT RTR like a Phoenix RTR especially it's gonna have this VFT twin um, just pay attention there are shims in the transmission most likely so you want to get them shimmed up again it'd be a shame to put machine stuff in and then not get something shimmed right and potentially screw them, screw your gears up. So, because the machine gears are not cheap. There was, there was a lot of good deals. Um, a lot of good deals around the holidays with Vanquish and If you guys don't watch that Vanquish live stream, if you're into their stuff, it's pretty awesome because a lot of spoilers that come out in that. They, um, yeah, yeah, Jim, he's not hiding a whole lot. Um, we don't know what the body style is, but yeah, he's, and he did, con they confirmed. We speculated last week. Um, you know, I think we speculated the price, kind of whether it'd be like right at that. And I, I was pretty strongly opinionated that there's no way they would do it for the same price. And he said, basically said that same thing. But they also said it's going to come complete. Um, I don't know if that means it's going to come like, it's going to definitely be on a VS410 chassis. There's no way it won't be. It'd be crazy not to. 
Um, they have a great platform. And then... Uh, they... Shit. Pardon my French. But... But yeah, it's just... It wouldn't make sense to not do it on that, so... I don't know if they mean complete, isn't it's gonna come with the whole chassis, or if it's gonna be, it's complete, like, it's got axles, and all you need is a truck, a VS410 chassis to kind of drop it in, or put it onto it. Ah, shoot. Roller. Yep, that's right. He did say that. Okay. Chainsaw. What's up, man? I'm assuming your gender. I'm sorry. It's pretty... Pretty safe if you're watching an RC live stream. It's pretty easy to assume your gender. But... YouTube gives analytics and all that stuff too whatever but it's all based on obviously your what, what y'all put in your profile so uh oh oh there we go thought that c-clip shot across the room i was like well it's kind of my worst nightmare to have this thing all the way apart and then uh something like that happen so oh you kind of forget it's been a while since i've built a vft twin kind of forget how uh how much there is to them so all right we're getting there almost an hour in So, I made the decision today, not that any of you really care not to try to rub it in or anything like that, but um, I'm going to sell, I have a 2020 Road Glide Special, never ride it, it's going to the dealership this weekend, They, I have a cash offer from them, um, as long as that still stands, I'm, I'm going to sell it, um, it should, it's got... So in the same shape it was, so it wouldn't make sense for it not to. But um, talk to the wife. Part of that, the reason I bring that up is I'm definitely I'm gonna earmark some of that money for a Ripper V2. Um, I think it'd be good for the channel. It'd be good for my happiness too. So. I don't know how much I'm going to put aside. I'm going to kind of guess on what I think it's going to be. But um, the rest is going to go, you know, to the house, things like that. Pay off some. I got a little bit of student loan debt. Pay that off. So why won't you come apart? Hmm. Let's see here. My hands are sure sure are greasy though. Okay, there's that. Any shims on those? Nope. Cool. That is why. There's these two flathead screws down in there. RW Pelham says, wife's still listening with me, miraculously. Yeah, that's, my wife doesn't even like listening to me. <laughs> Especially when I'm talking about this stuff. She's a good sport. She tries to, 
she asks questions and stuff like that and tries to be excited when I'm excited. She's freaking great, but not her thing. Which, honestly, it's a good thing. I mean, this house can't afford two of us to be into this. All right. Nothing to it but to place all these gears. You're saying the dogs, my, like my dogs? Does she want to see them? Or is it your dogs? Probably your dogs, because you can't see my dogs. We can do that, though. There's, there's Bear, and Chloe is right there. She came in here. You can just see her. You say hi? She's a lot smaller. She'll come up here and say hi to everybody. Can you come up here? He's got grease all over him. Come on, I'll take a break. Sit. Sit. <laughs> She's pretty cool. They're both great dogs. Very easy to please. I just want attention. She's camera shy, apparently. But this is Chloe. Okay, we gotta go back to bed. She's probably pumped that I did that now. All right. Let's get these gears installed. Get on with our lives here. RW Pelham, though, you're a... Uh... I start, um... <laughs> Dara said, you're very welcome. Thanks for hanging in there and supporting your husband. She's not into this, she, but she, she probably understands how, not that I think I'm that entertaining or enjoyable to watch, but there's something about just, for me, and I feel like y'all are like that if you're in here, there's just something so entertaining about Live streams, it kind of feels like you're sitting around, you know, shooting the shit with your with your buddies about RC stuff. And sometimes it's hard to find good friends in the hobby. There are great people in the hobby, but depending where you live, how popular it is, where you're at, it could be difficult to... So, live streams are... They're kind of important, I think, for the the old mental health. Kind of gets that fix in if you if you're saving up for something or if you're just curious about truck or part or something like that. So my wife's she sat through a lot of live streams, a lot of Wednesday night takeover or live stream takeover on Wednesday nights. I've watched quite a bit of um, XO Cage on Tuesdays. I usually don't catch um, Tony and Pablo, CCX and RC Amigos, but they, I actually really like their, their live stream. Very laid back, good fun. I always try to watch on Pablo's. Yeah. He doesn't get nearly the views that Tony gets, so I try to help him out. But. Yeah, RW Pelham. If you're, uh, if I start doing this regularly, and I do need a, if I need a moderator, if you're, uh, you're probably in first place. Jake's RC is probably up there too. I'm slightly biased towards him because he lives near me, but all right. Don't think.
think I forgot anything. We'll find out if I did. Saturday morning, probably. Let's see. Sorry, I'm shaking. Oh, speaking of cameras, Prime Day, whatever hell the sale they called. Um, I bought I bought some stuff for the channel, non RC stuff. So I got a. Um, Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we're a ways off. I think from it needing too much attention, which is honestly awesome. Like I don't have to worry about knock on wood bots or spam or crap like that. It's nice right now. It's very it's very chill. You know, everyone wants to be famous until paparazzis and stuff. Honestly, I just don't think I can handle the line of groupies when I walk out my front door every morning. So, try to keep it low-key. Um, that's a joke, obviously. But, yeah, I bought a, uh, a pretty decent webcam and a like an articulating arm. So, I should be able to drop a web webcam right above where you all see me and get an actual straight down look this is my gopro you're watching on it's kind of janky it's on like a angled stand it's close to tipping over at any given moment so um, let me make sure i'm not missing anything super important in my Nothing, nothing I got to get to right now. All right. Okay. bearing retainer in too early. We'll make uh, Mrs. Mrs. R.W. Poem. She can at least get a peek of them back there. Peace. Happy wife, happy life. Occasionally mine will sit in here and hang out while I work on stuff. We were, I'm gonna have her on at some point. She's agreed to it too. She'll be a good sport. She's gonna do, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna make her name pieces of an RC. And I've gone over them a few times because I told her First time she ever comes on a live stream, just for fun, I'm going to quiz her. So, she had them at one point, but it's been a few months, and we'll see how good her memory is. But the answers, the, the original answers she gave me were really funny. Um, they weren't wrong, but just not the right term. The servo, I think it was... Steer, steering, steery thingy. Um, engine. That's the engine. I was like, well, <laughs> uh, it's close. It's a motor. But yeah, she's a character. I got a reminder of that, that she agreed to. Be my co-pilot one night 
But the nice the nice thing about that some of the new stuff I got um, is I should be able to. Um, a, if I want to, if I want to do a live stream over here, oh man, bearing does not want to seat very well right there. I'll take that bearing plate out again. All right, we're using Siga. But I also I did also buy um, a cheap uh, capture card, so it's camera stuff. It's all camera stuff. But what that means is I don't have to tear down my setup over here. I have a pretty nice gaming laptop. It should be good enough to stream off of. It should be the same main camera, and I can move that um, webcam over there, and I should be able to work at my normal workbench. A little more room, at least room to put stuff as I'm not necessarily needing it. So that I'm actually pretty excited for that. So that was I got a cheap one, so we'll see if it's any good. But there's that those picks coming in handy. Come out of there, bearing plate's tight. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what the problem is here. Is that a shim? No. Huh. It might just be... It might just be the gear. I've never noticed that on any of these machine gears before. It's kind of got a lip on it. it doesn't allow me to seat the bearing good yeah it looks like it's fine now whatever sometimes bearings and metal whether it's metal axles or whatever they sometimes they don't want to cooperate so probably what it was Yep, like this one. <laughs> you get them in there just a little sideways and they don't want to go in at all. I need a tiny hammer. Oh, come on. Come on. Yep, okay. That was painful. Okay. So now, I definitely do not remember the order any of that went in. call it at nine either way I'll either finish up what I'm doing off stream and or uh, I'll be done and we'll wrap it up but we are gonna call it either way dog's mom will be getting home right about that time she's a nurse so she works 12-hour shifts so Usually when she gets home, I try to be present, we'll say. Ah, I think, actually, oh no, that's this one, okay. Got to remember <laughs> what is what. I don't need... Trying to remember. I guess the best thing to do would be to just match them up, huh? So this is for that for sure. 
this entire thing. Does that got a shim on it? Nope. Nope. Okay. So we're done with that. I don't remember using this, this little emoji thing is in the way. I don't remember using that small threaded rod opposite of the standoffs. What's up, Logan? I was, we were talking about you a little bit earlier. Yo, how's the cut and shut business doing? West Desert Wheeler's in the house. That's a celebrity on this channel. Full blown celebrity. I was just watching, I was re watching. I watched it the first time. Your uh, guest appearance on Wednesday night or live stream takeover. I'm jealous that you made it to. Proline by the fire. The East Coast has some perks. I'm still trying to figure out what they are. <laughs> um, RC community events, things like that, is not one of them. All right. Yeah, Logan, we're doing uh. <laughs> we're all nerds that was one of the best things um i was a pretty big meathead coming out of high school and in college and football player power lifter um and I, I i never you know i played an occasional video game mostly madden call of duty things like that really didn't do road dirt bikes um didn't consider myself a nerd. And one time, uh, had this kind of, I guess, like motivational speaker kind of say something to the tune that, like, everybody's a nerd about something. And I was like, no, nah, not me. You know, I'm, I'm too cool to be a nerd. Like, um, I don't really think I was too cool. I just didn't think I had... You know, just didn't have nerdy hobbies or anything like that. Um, looking for some shims. What I do with those? Probably in here somewhere. But, anyways, he started grilling me and said something to the tune, and he was like, "I bet you got, you know, all your vitamins sorted." Um, a notebook with exact weights and exact reps and things like that. And he could just tell by looking at me and I was like, well, yeah. And he was like, that's your thing. That's what you're a nerd about. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess you're kind of right. So, you know what? If you're going to be into something, own it. Like, be, be a nerd. Who cares? Don't know where that shim went. There were shims in that bag. <laughs> I probably took it. Oh, they're right here. Right in front of me. But yeah. Cut. That's good though, the cut and shuts are, are selling though. You do a good job on them, it's hard to find. Uh, Not a lot of, I don't know, I haven't really seen a lot of people do them. There's a lot of talk about people, you know, how they used to do them back comp crawler days or, um, but having the patience to do that and do a good job at it is not a small feat, I would say. But Logan, Logan got to drive two rippers. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a connoisseur of your other channel, Logan. Not not as big, 
Um, and I probably don't watch from this channel either. I probably watch from my personal. That's where like all I have, I'm subscribed to so much stuff. Watch a lot of Cletus McFarlane, um, different like full size off-road build stuff, drag racing, 3D printing, all sorts of wild stuff, DIY, like single board computer stuff. I'm a full blown nerd. I don't hide it. I love learning something new, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, pretty fun. Really hope I got these gears right. <laughs> mm. Nah, this one's bigger. Yeah, okay. That's the right one here. Yeah, if you're you're catching up, Logan, we're I had a bunch of stuff sitting around for uh my Phoenix. I did that. I did, I'm not paying attention. Um, but yeah, like a machined aluminum motor plate. I did the aluminum standoffs. Just kind of trying to quote unquote bomb proof the transmission a little bit. I haven't had problems, but um, wanted to do a live stream. Had the parts. Just thought it'd be kind of fun to hang out, see what everyone was up to. So yeah, I already got the, we got the standoffs on, we got the aluminum motor plate ready to go. Um, I'm gonna drop pinion down. It's a little, truck runs a little fast, it's 2700 Polar Pro. Um, I thought I bought links to extend the front a little bit. I saw Harley Designs on his, uh, the four dice budget build off. I really liked how he he bumped the front end out a little bit, um, just to help with approach and a little bit longer wheelbase. But I I screwed that up and I bought the same length links. They're titanium, but I'm not gonna replace them just to put three titanium links on. So it is what it is. Yeah, that's what we're working on. It is not that exciting, but these guys are these guys are hanging in here. They're they're troopers. We're not. I was checking to see before I streamed last Thursday too. Kind of looking for a, an opening to not step on toes, and not that I think I'm gonna draw too much of a crowd, but um, just to make sure I wasn't gonna and. Be honest, if it's someone I want to watch their stream, I don't want to be streaming while I'm trying to watch. So, um, yeah, that was my kind of my thought process behind Thursday. But I know you guys used to do your radio talk live. I was a guest on it at one point. Um, you guys still do that? Is that still? Still a thing. That was a fun show. I liked it. I thought you and uh, the two you guys did a good job on it. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. I'll say ladies and gentlemen, but we're getting there, gentlemen. Well, I, R. W. Pelham, his wife's his wife's here. I'll respect her. She said she's here for the dogs. My dogs are slightly less energetic than, uh... oh, okay, okay. Oh, are you still, are you still uh, driving the tractor, Logan? Am I making that up or is that a thing? Now we just gotta remember how this goes together. 
That looks right. We're going off memory here, folks. Oh, I don't know. And this definitely just goes like this. There's a shim there, apparently. Let's see. Everything seems to turn. Let's put a little grease in there. Maintain a horse track. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I knew it was something. I've never done it. I've helped. I grew up in middle of nowhere, cornfields, Illinois. Helped a lot of farmers. We had a tractor too, but um, so I've never really driven a tractor for work. I've done it here and there, gotten paid for a couple days, but so maybe it changes things. But something about driving a tractor, it's fun. <laughs> I don't know. It probably he probably has different. He probably got different uh, opinions of it. But I said what I said. Feels pretty smooth. I don't think we we didn't screw it up too bad. If we screwed it up, so just gotta remember. Oh, here we go. Vanquish rock lube. I've actually never had it. You guys know I'm a fanboy of them. The the shirt. Paid with it. Everything I buy from them is with my own money. They don't nothing on they're not endorsing anything I'm saying. I wish they were. But I've actually never paid their grease. I uh when I first got into RC I bought a thing at Cal RC what it, utter butter worst name ever it's it just annoys me to say it is what it is so if i'm doing like a fresh build and i don't have one of these handy like from a kit um i'll i'll just use that and i've i've had it for years so when it runs out maybe i'll try something else but i have it in the tub and they make it in a syringe I want to get it in the syringe if I get it again. It's good grease. I've never, I don't know. You put, you probably put butter in there and it would be fine. Truth be told, but. Like I said earlier though, that all that stuff is just all part of the fun. Figuring out what. Sometimes it gets really quiet if I'm really focused. I forget that uh, you guys are there. <laughs> Let's just make sure our dig is working here. Feels like it. Free wheels in the middle. And locked up there. And our overdrive. Come on, click into gear. Yep, seems good. I'm happy with it. All right. Okay. Switch this out. What else is going on? Try to either M with you though, so I bought some. Got the cow syringe working through though. Alright, yeah. Similar then. What's this? What's this? The tractor gig is pretty chill. Listen to the podcast.
probably turn the torque down a little bit on this. Might still be too high. This is the number one thing I've been influenced on and I don't regret it for a second. It is the best RC tool money can buy. I said what I said. Oh, let's see, make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, Logan, I, uh, pretty big uh, Second Amendment proponent myself. Never done any, like, long range. Oh, that hole stripped out. Never done any long range stuff. Um, being from the Midwest. Definitely could have a lot more there than... Georgia, but um, yeah, I, I mean, I grew up, it was just a part of what we did. And still, when I go, well, actually, not as much now. My parents used to live on uh, 10 acres or so. And when I used to go home, I never flew because I'd always have a truck bed full of those type of toys and um, we just spend at least one whole day usually a whole weekend just we'd shoot trap all day one day have a little tournament do some grilling and then we would get out some steel gongs things like that on the uh, when we weren't doing shooting trap but yeah, that's a, and I still, I, I still have quite a few. I have an addictive personality, I guess you could say. So I can't let things go. I, I, I have a sentimental um, attachment to things, I guess, you know. Hard for me to let them go, but I don't, sh I don't shoot as much as I used to. I used to shoot all the time, every single weekend. Um, that's not, probably not much compared to you or some other people, but... When ammo prices went up during 2020, kind of slowed down and it kind of just got me used to not shooting so I've gone a few times here recently got to stay proficient with the uh, you know nightstand gun conceal carry Skeeter 93 sorry I missed you it took a while good evening What's up? I haven't seen you here before. At least I don't think so. I'm sorry if you've been. Yeah. Oh. That is, that's my number two tool. And I would argue... I would argue this is number one. Now, obviously, you need a set of speed bits with it. Get some quality ones. This TGH rod end tool is number two. You can run it in that. I bought this as my RC drill first. as a Harbor Freight, a uh, little 12 volt. The clutch isn't good enough on it. It's um, not sensitive enough, so it'll just strip stuff. It's great for like bashers and like bigger, your three mil and um, 2.5 and three, it'll, it's fine for it. But I, so I just leave that chucked up in here and I have an old set of shock pliers, and this is my this is my link building pliers, popping out shock balls or pivot bolts, excuse me, and building links. Pretty sweet. I'm not at the level of having 
multiple of these because I'm too lazy to switch out the what? Never know. I thought about putting one on a Christmas list, and if I get another one, I get another one. That's uh, that seems excessive, we'll say. Okay. So. Clearly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Finally back to where we started. Putting the motor mount on. I guess we're gonna hit this with a little bit of Loctite. Electric driver from Vessel. They're famous for their ball like handles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen their electric driver though. I'm sure, I'm sure it's plenty good. I, I did a, really uh kind of crappy review of a a walmart electric driver a little four volt and honestly it's pretty good it's a fifth of the price of this thing the clutch is not nearly as good and it's not gyro the gyro you think it'd be weird i'm telling you if you're somewhere and someone has one ask to use it i let someone borrow it at an event they were working on a truck i was like hey use this and they were they were pretty pleased. They were like, wow, that is that is pretty sweet. I was like, yeah. But yeah, I guess straight up got influenced by Josh and Matt telling me how to live my life. What the hell? Go in there. Skeeter says he's new to the channel. Welcome. Um, nothing too special here. Just uh couple of couple of RC nerds that like to hang out and shoot the shit I decided I'm gonna start doing live streams here and there probably Thursday nights usually around seven it's a good night um, work on something I really I like to like, if I'm if I have bead locks or something that's a perfect thing to do you don't have to think about it um, but wanted to get this done, so been a little busier than I'd like to, but we're getting there. Wes Logan says he uses Milwaukee. Oh yeah. I mean, if you're paying attention, it's fine. I mean, some people get this DeWalt and then they run it on the highest clutch setting and it's got a decent bit of power, obviously not 18 volt Milwaukee power, but So that shroud is on there. So I'm gonna go ahead. I can't remember if I can get the the motor in there. I probably should have just unhooked the motor and it's alright though. I'm just trying to decide if I can get the motor into the transmission once it's all attached. I guess we're going to find out because it'll be a little bit easier to do it that way. <laughs> all the ugga duggas. Yep. I'm going to be honest. If you're building, you know, quality, going into quality plastics or aluminum, they're fine. Especially as long as they're not like the 1.5 mil stuff. The 2.5 cap head is, they're strong. You can crank on them. Oh yeah. Bomb proof transmission. I'll probably, it'll probably get messed up all this. That's why I didn't, I, did, I was gonna make a 
uh, bomb proof thumbnail, but it seemed a little excessive. Okay. Yeah, we can get that in there. So on goes this stuff. Spur year, that's the word I'm looking for. Do I have this one right? We'll find out, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Are any competitors? MIP driver bits. Um, uh, allegedly, the Traxxas ones are really good. I think that these are MIP. These are either MIP or ProTech. Of course, they don't say anywhere on them. One or the other. I have both. I think my ball end are MIP and my standard are ProTech. I'm pretty sure. I like them both. Looking for a one Ford Quick Connect. Um, don't know of a quality one for that. But I'll tell you what you could do. Um, let me see. I'll be right back. Hold on. So, RW Pelham, I got just the thing for you here. You like Vanquish, you said. So, next time you're making an order, it shouldn't be too bad. It's going to be a little pricey, but it's going to be nice and long, which means you'll be able to reach through links and all that those things. Buy their 0.05 standard tool replacement tip, and then buy one of these quarter-inch drive adapters. And it just keys right in there, grub screw, and it's got a quick, quick connect on it. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. If you didn't get that, hit me up on my Instagram. Or you can leave a comment on this video, um, like after it's posted. But Instagram is probably gonna be the most, I'll get a notification. I don't get notifications for YouTube. Probably just something I don't have set up, but I do check them every morning. Yeah, that's what I would do if I was looking for an all. Yeah, if I was looking for an oddball or I just wanted to throw together, I've honestly thought about throwing together an entire set of those. Um, just because then the tips are going to be replaceable. They're really not bad. I forget what a replacement tip is, like five bucks. And I've had good luck with them. Those .05s, those are itty bitty. You're gonna potentially you could snap those, but. I guess it doesn't really matter what direction you run this motor plate in. It honestly looks like it's completely reversible. Just so weird to me. Nah, I guess it's not. Never mind. It's mostly reversible, I guess.
So I don't know about you guys, but I just I just cranked this slipper clutch down. I don't want it slipping. Especially now that I got the machine gears in there. It was cranked down before though. Feels good. Nice and smooth. Alright, only 15 minutes left. I gotta need I got a boogie. I don't think we're gonna get to messing with the links. Probably just gonna get this in there, get my gear mesh all set, and we'll call it. Yeah, let's have the wires come out this side. We're gonna unplug the sensor wire for now so I don't mess it up. How'd you break your bits, RC crawling addict? Sorry, I'm sticking uh, sticking it down in the in the output, tightening up a spur. Hopefully, that's not too long. Eh, I guess it's all right. Oh, I wasn't using my, uh, that wasn't my speed when it, that wasn't my tools. That was, a uh, this little pick, Harbor Freight pick, like two bucks for a four pack. It's a must have, must have. I got a lot of must-haves in my RC toolbox. Get, get spoiled. Get, get used to certain things and can't go back to the old ways. Just setting that mesh. Sorry guys, pretty picky about my gear mesh. Ooh, is that? Okay. Hmm. Let's see. It's not gonna move, is it? All right. We're in there. Okay, let's move this stuff out of the way. Yeah, you're good, no worries. There you go, yeah, Skeeter, you got it. Thanks for the help, appreciate you. Yeah, everyone says Traxxas makes um, makes good speed tips, I don't have them. Um, I know, say what you want about Josh from Harley Designs, but he tends to have pretty nice tools and he swears by them. So he doesn't even run, 
Um, he doesn't even run that Vanquish setup. I, it's a matter of time, though, before I think they come out with speed tips. I, they know the things they need to make. It's just they're a small, they're a small business. So only so much time and man hours. All right, let's get this thing in there. Let's snake it back through here. Yep, she fell back into place. Oh, I gotta. I'll tell you how I broke the tip on my 1.5 millimeter vanquish though. While we're talking about breaking tools, exactly what I'm about to do right now, or thought about doing. When you're trying to align the holes on outputs and drive shafts, don't use your tools for that. <laughs> Especially don't use a, a 1.5. Not the most robust, we'll say. We're gonna put one in back here. Just so the transmission's not flopping around on me. I gotta get the front drive shaft back on. We're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if uh I don't know if Traxxas makes a 0 0.050 for like the 124ths, but if they do, hey. Oh. <laughs> you guys saw nothing. It's crazy. Here's what happens when you use the right size. Oh no. Normally I wouldn't care about the spur gear cover, but this, this is my beater. Like if I'm gonna run something through a big old pile of pine needles or try to climb a gravel pile, this is gonna be the probably the one I'm gonna do it with. So I want that on there. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I forgot that uh that front drive shaft a real bear to put on while the transmission is in. So you're better off finagling it while fishing the transmission in there. I'll do it the best I can here. Let's pull this back out. Let's put this on. You know what the next, the next level, I think, in my RC building evolution is the, the lack, I'm going to stop being so lazy and I have the crimpers and all that stuff to start shortening servo wires because You can really uh, clean a build up if you're willing to put the work in. Wife's home. You guys are staring at the top of my head, I know. I'm sorry. Close the door. Good. 
Go see mommy. Go ahead. You wanna go see mom? Go ahead. Sorry. The uh, maybe I'll I'll set this maybe to go to maybe I'll do like six thirty to eight thirty. My wife usually gets home right around shutting down time, so. This is, uh, I don't remember this being this hard. I guess I just take it off the front axle. Come on. There we go. Now go out. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yep, yep, uh, RC Crawling Attic, Polar Pro, 2700, Mamba, or I'm sorry, Copperhead by Castle, run 3S, it can take 4S just fine, um, and actually I went down three teeth on the pinion, they have the stock 15, I went to a 12, um, I guess I didn't even think about that, I could have ran, I could have went to a an 11 or a 10 and ran 4S. Yeah, Polar Pros are amazing motors. Stout, good low speed control, just absolute monsters. And the 540L, like the, the full length 550 can, that's what I have in my Rift. It is, it's got power. Um, but yeah, Protect Servos, 370 TBL, some overkill, um, what is this? 160 something, like a 160T or something like that for uh, the dig and the overdrive. So this was a this was an original. Um, I, I'd say original Phoenix when they first came out. They were 500 bucks. Um, pre -order, the back order took forever to get them. Or yeah, the first batch sold out like crazy fast or whatever, but it's a fun truck though. It's been it's been beat on pretty good and it's it's held up. So we're gonna get the we get the trans locked down and we're gonna call it good. I'm gonna wrap this up and then I'll uh I'll finish this up off stream. I'm real close to being done. The six to seven of you, you guys are troopers. Um, seriously, appreciate all you hanging in there. I'm kind of learning this live stream thing. It's, it's not the most natural feeling. Talking to a camera period when you're filming, it's kind of weird. Get a little used to it, but doing it real time and trying to get the conversation going and oh oh yeah, is this the Fordyce premiere, Logan? I'll I'll hang out. I'll try to I'll try to get over there, do some comment, try to check it out while it's premiering. You got three reefs, four twenty twos, nice. Um. But yeah, I might run this on 4S now. We'll see. I might switch it off of my Fly Sky and put it on my Radio Link. Just to free up a channel. It doesn't have a winch. I like my Fly Sky for my winches. Um, but let's see. Thanks for joining, Logan. If you're still in here. Pretty happy we got through this. It was. I'm starting to wonder for a minute. Kind of forgot what the what all goes into this transmission, but 
Where's my two mil? What I do with it? There it is. All right, last bolt. And then we're gonna. Cool, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to try to be around. Knock out some. I like I like live streams. They're they're entertaining to me. So I want to get back. Provide. You know, even if you watch a replay, don't care. If you don't want to watch them, watch them. If you, they're not your thing, hmm. Come on. Probably should have done this before I locked that top in all the way. All right. We're close. We're close. Loosen these up. I don't really think you need to run this bottom flathead screw, to be honest. It's kind of pointless, but. Oh, oh, I want to strip it out though. There we go. I didn't put any thread lock on that, so there's a very good chance it's going to back out. That's fine. It doesn't really need to be in there, so. I do have a light kit on this. You guys are probably, you might be seeing, um, well, maybe not, I guess. Oh, guys, I, I might have screwed up. I got to get that sensor wire in there. I'll get it in there. It's going to be, it'll be tight. I'll say that. I don't know. Oh, the fan for the ESC. All right, cool. There she is. Still works. All right, see ya, RW Fallon. Thanks for watching, man. I appreciate it. Um, RC Crawling Attic, thanks for watching. Who else? Jake's RC. Don't think you're still in here, but thanks for chopping in. Yep, get out and do some crawling, guys. If you have good weather or work on something, hit me up on Instagram. Let me know. Send me pictures. I'd love to see what you guys are, um, or tag me in them, whatever. I love seeing builds. Like That's one of the best parts of the hobby is sharing it with each other. So take it easy. I'll see you all next time.